got into town. I don't. I think. Yeah, so me and uh, Zandar went to Temple. Yeah. And then I think, uh, yeah. And then I believe Dren, you got, uh, you know, had an interaction with one of the local, uh, you know, law enforcement. I think we be AFK. Okay. <laughs> Man, what a what a night! <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, I think last time I was at an inn, and a lot of people were going to the temple, if I remember. And then, Dren got the uh, job from the guards, if I remember. All right. Um. So yeah, you guys, you know, have a little bit of free time before uh, the things that you guys are, you know, going to do. Like, you guys were invited to the temple for for the service, uh, and, uh, ooh. you guys were invited to the, uh, to the, to the temple, um. Yeah, I guess to kind of, let me see. And then there's also going to be, like, uh, going out and visiting the graveyard. hear me yeah uh yeah no, I, was, I had it i had myself muted earlier but i was going to unmute myself um whenever i heard people talking yeah we hear you yeah for so, whatever yeah. reason now it's picking up my monitor speakers from time to time discord is weird so So yeah, basically we were just like recapping, you know, what happened last time. All right, so Rock is about to be on. Right. Just caught. Um... All right. Whoever wants to go first, I guess. So yeah, you guys have like a little bit of free time uh, before. Uh, doing what you guys are, you know, ex like, have made plans for. Uh, you guys could, you know, go around the town or, you know, like, try to do some free, some free time activities. What's in the town? Um, I mean, just, you know, your generic stuff. I mean, there's gambling you can take part in there's like you know just odd jobs you could do uh there's uh like a a, a forge or or a smithery rather um you know they are indeed a, a like a mining village so they they've got a pretty decent uh amount of uh, metal, metal gear. Are you Is it solid? <laughs> what was that? I was going to go see if they have any, uh, better leather or light armor I could pick up. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they can definitely, uh, suit you up. It might, it might be at a, uh, you know, a bit of a cost. Is it just um, like a general goods store? Like a like a general store, yeah. I wouldn't mind going there and kind of just seeing what they have. All right. Uh, 
I'll tag it. I'll tag along. Alright. So we can go ahead and do the armor first. Um, yeah, so you see he's got, you know, an array of different, like, colored and, uh, like, style of, like, padded and leather armor. Um, and one, uh, uh, thing of studded leather. Ho, ho. The studded, like, the studded is light armor, right? It is. Uh, I'll take a look at that, then. Well, howdy, boy. That, that, that piece there is some, uh, fine work. Uh, it's... 45 GP starting out. Whew! That's, uh, that's a hefty, uh... What makes it worth 45 GP? Well, I mean, one safety is worth all the gold in the world, in my opinion. If it stops you from being, you know, having your belly split open, it, you know, does its job pretty well. But I mean, if that's yeah, if it's too expensive for you, we we have many other pieces of fine armor. Uh, we've got you know some leather armor for ten for ten gold pieces, some padded for five. It's all you know a matter of what. Uh, what's the uh, what's the stats on the padded and the leather? So padded it uh, it makes your AC eleven plus your Dex mod. Uh, padded has disadvantage on stealth, though. Leather is 11 plus dex mod without disadvantage. Um, and then they cost 8 pounds or 10 pounds, uh, respectively. And then studded leather is 12 plus dex mod without disadvantage. I guess I'm going to pass. I'm wearing leather armor and I can't afford the studded, so. Fair enough. Um, and then you guys, uh, head to the general store. Yes. All right, let me see that. Uh, on the, on the way, on the way, I'm gonna look at Drain, uh, Drain and be like, hold out the mysterious mystery box and be like, Drain, do you think there's anyone here that would know what this is? Well, it's worth taking a look and talking to them. However, I'm thinking because... Mining talent. They, they probably are not a, you know, as familiar with this kind of these kind of goods. Mm. It's worth looking into. Uh, they're all kind of dumb around here. Did you hear that last guy? He sounded fucking retarded. I am <laughs> stupid. <laughs> sounded very R <awkward. laughs> All right. Uh, so you head to it to the general yeah. store. Um, yeah, they've got, you know, a bunch of your general, your, you know, regular equipment. They've also got, like, you know, uh, like, tool sets that you can buy. Um, like thing, what? Like, like, carpenter's tools, cobbler's tools, that kind of stuff. Like, the actual tool kits. Excuse me, do you have... I'm looking for stuff to make potent drinks. And I look at him and kind of like make the motion, you know, for alcohol. Um, unfortunately not. Uh, I've got Cook's tools. Uh, I can make it, you can make some strong food with it. Anything useful here? I mean, they've got like rope. Uh, at... <laughs> got Go ink. Hmm. Is there anything that looks valuable that I could pocket, maybe? Uh, tell you what. Um, yeah. Uh, you see, like, there's for sale this uh, like this weighing this this scale. Uh, that's supposed to, you know, we'll, like, weigh out things for, like, by the, you know, the ounce or whatever. Some pretty, like, sophisticated machinery for, you know, the time. Uh, it, it, 
would cost it would fetch a pretty penny you might be able to snatch it do you do so so i see i i i have a i have an inkling for what uh our little buddy wants to do so i'm gonna try to see if i can distract the shop keep by like just pointing at little baubles and doodads and having him just tell me what if there's anything about it that i'm gonna don't understand it okay okay um, we don't have so we don't have these right from my village like hold up all these random stuff what is this well that that that's a lock i don't i don't you don't have locks where you're from no why would you need locks no one steals where we're from are you making your move caruther are you making your move i'm gonna do it i was just letting him do his thing so, so uh, i'll try and heal that he's talking to him so is, he, know, is that if you can make like a, uh, if you can make a uh, performance check Zeke or me doing a performance check. That that's Zeke. So unfortunately, I don't think Zeke you necessarily distract him. So, uh, Karathu, you won't get like advantage necessarily. Uh, but but you can go ahead and try to make a uh, a stealth and then a sleight of hand. Yeah. I guess I'm not gonna make a uh, <laughs> even uh, make attempt to steal it. Fucking case because he's looking right at me. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and make that sleight of hand for me, that'd be that'd be nice. Uh oh, it's gonna be another. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him roll really good on stealth. That's like the best I freaking rolled right there. On a... every time I try to steal something, I roll horribly. So. You manage to uh, like put the uh, the the thing in your bag without you know disturbing anything around it, but as you turn like these pots and pans that are hanging on the wall, uh, you like brush past them and then just slam like everything on the floor in like this this magnificent you know uh, display of I don't like just. You make a big ruckus. Um, hey, what, what, what are you doing over there? Oh, wait, back me up, man. What are you doing? It's a demon, and I flap my wings, wings out. I hate demon born, and I get all big, like, trying to fucking cause a scene. I'm, like, knocking things over with my wings, like I'm about to beat the shit out of him. Are you... I'm gonna scream that gnome just stunned. That freaking gnome just took out your door. <laughs> um, he's, and he's, he's gonna, my he's gonna roll insight to see if he like catches on to what's going on here. He rolled a nineteen. He's like, oh, oh you tried fuck. the old distraction method on me. Listen here. I don't know what you took, but put it back, and we can call this amends. <laughs> I took my feathers down, walked the fuck out. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you, demon. Just keep going. So, is there like a uh, like a bulletin board or a job board, kind of like there is in like therapy? You know, it's like active. I mean, not contracts not, out or not really. And are we just stopping by this town? Sorry, I'm trying to re remember where we left off. Uh, you, yeah, you guys were. This was where you were supposed to deliver uh, the blasting jelly, um, and it's also you know decently close to. It's approaching the uh, the capital city. Okay, so we still have the blasting jelly. Deliver it. Uh, I right. don't think you guys have yet, but yeah, you you could uh, definitely it. reach out to your like contacts, uh, and get it get it delivered. Hey, okay, and, the, and so, that was my contract, right? 
Uh, I think it was both you and Carithu uh, working together. Okay. Well, what do you think, Carithu? Let's Carithu. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we find, you know, contact. And get this shit off of our hands. I, I I don't like carrying this around. Yeah, his head's getting kind of soggy too. <laughs> All right. I did mention I had repeatedly dunked this severed head I got in that blasting jelly. Jesus Christ. I have to say, uh, I need to learn how to make it because I want to stuff ball bearings in his mouth and make it into an exploding head. Jesus Christ. I mean... We got Mujahideen demons now, dude. Let's go. Sure, I mean, you've got... So basically, one container that's been opened and like visibly used, and then the the rest of them are closed. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you, pretty so you, much. You guys uh, reach out to your contacts, uh, try to you know, basically, they you know tell you to meet them at a locate, like drop the barrels off at a location. Um, yeah, so. And uh, you you guys can keep the uh, the wagon. Don't need any uh, thing that can be led back to our boys down south. Appreciate it. All right. So now we got paid, right? Uh, I think you guys already got paid. Like, I oh that's right, we got paid up front. Yeah. Uh, can I try a persuasion that we deserve a bonus since we had to fight off like an army for this stuff and litter? And, uh, am I with them? No. Nah. Are you guys Criminals left? only. Criminals yeah, only. You guys lost out. I had all those ears. <laughs> I got a severed head. Look, if you guys decided to make trouble for yourselves, that's on you. Like, we. According to our knowledge, there was nobody specifically looking to get the blasting jelly. You just had to I keep it out of, walk the, away. out of the hands of the. Well, he was. The I'm up his seven hands. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, this son of a bitch tried to steal it. Why do you think that fucking box is open? I don't know. God, I mean, oh my god, where were you keeping that? It smells horrible. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's probably just... That's the smell of victory, my friend. <laughs> Look, dude, you're... So, you tieflings are weird. Oh my god. Uh, and he, like, he backs off. You know, I'd leave a lot faster if I was paid a little bit more for my trouble. <laughs> Screw you. All right. Um, yeah. so, I'm glad we got that behind us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just carrying around a severed head. Well, Lenny doesn't appreciate it. That's what I named him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah. Uh, Kolchak. Uh, or uh, uh, Rakshasa. So, uh, w what about you? I'm, uh, trying to... I'm on... I'm all the way at the last one. I'm trying to get into Mombasa. I see where it says copy the link. Fair enough. I love it. By the way, what is the damage of an exploding head filled with ball bearings? Hypothetically. <laughs> we'll figure that out when we get to it. Whoopsies. And I'm going to turn everybody else down so I can turn uh, Rakshasa up because I, I can barely hear him.
You want me to turn my mic up? Uh, if you can. Or maybe, like, if, if you can move closer to it or something like that, maybe maybe that's it. Are you in, this, are you in the same room as the mic? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, it's actually... <laughs> my lower lip's actually touching it. Okay. Oh. And, caress, and caressing it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gay. <laughs> oh, it's a mic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Huh? The dude's name. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have Mike on my bottom lip. Oh God. So um. Not so Rakshasa, um. So when you get into town, like you, you kind of separate from the rest a little bit, right? Um, is there anything like you you try to take care of, like any like things you want to do? Yes, there there, there is. I've been having these nightmares, and I'd heard down at the livery stable that some of the miners uh, knew of some caverns that uh, you could enter from uh, underneath one of the stalls in the stables. And uh, evidently there's some stuff going on down there, and I thought I would uh, go down there and see if I could get in touch with these shadows that keep talking to me. With all right. All my friends around, but I can't join. I can't join the campaign. I'm trying to figure out how to get in the campaign. Can somebody drop me a link? It, it, I, 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 did, I, did, I did. I did. Look at the general tech channel. And in Discord, in the general text yeah. channel. Yeah. And are you able to? See all y'all. In. When it says Z. Yeah, I, I, I put it in both, though. Just in case there's every uh, channel oh. you're in, you can see it. Game. I was down to, uh, did those miners talk to me about that? And said that, uh, there may be some interesting things down there that I might find, uh, if I went down there. They All right. something of where darkness dwells. So, so yeah, you, uh, you went head on down to the to the mines uh it's a it's a good like couple it's a good like mile out of town um okay so uh you, you walk on down that way um eventually you know you arrive at where they're doing it uh it's a bunch of these like you know really it, you you've definitely seen dwarves uh before like you lived up in the mountains so you had a you know constant relationship with some um these guys are, you know, bringing up, uh, like, mine carts full of, like, iron and, you know, all, all sorts of stuff from down below. Um, well, hey there, big guy. How can, I, how can I help you? I was checking to see if you had uh, knowledge of some stories of these spirits hmm. that have been... Uh, Maybe the ones that have been coming to me in my dreams and won't leave me alone. They bother me at night. They bother me at day. They just will not let me sleep. Sounds like quite a problem. I, um, it, it it can be. It can be because it sounds like my, one of them sounds like my mama. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't... That was supposed to be funny, y'all. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how much you know about uh -huh. um, our people, but um, sometimes we spend too much time down below, uh, and we go mad. I wonder if uh, you are facing one of these same dilemmas. We that always could hear be a possibility. Hearing the voices, uh, paranoia, always seeing people after you. Um, but tell you what... Uh, if I can show you one of my, our uh, relaxing spots, we might be able to maybe meditate on it. And then um, he uh, basically uh, tells his guys that he's you know gonna be be uh, away for a little bit uh, to keep you know going at it. Um, oh, it looks like he got muted and deafened. Hey, 
There he goes. I turn, I turn my mic up, so I figured out how if that helps. That yeah, that sounds better. Um, so yeah, he basically uh, talks to his guys, tells them to you know keep on working. He's gonna be busy for for a little bit, um, and he leads you down uh, into the mines. Um, there, it is a very cramped uh, space for you because you were like almost triple these guys height um but he, he leads you down uh into these uh into these mines eventually turning away and going into some of these like natural caves um where there's basically you know these stalactites and stalagmites and uh, like a dripping uh a dripping stalagmite that drops into like a like a pool of water just the constant drip, drip, drip. Um, no, no real like natural light down here. It's all just the faint glow of like distant torches and stuff. Um, a lot of a lot of the boys come down here to to you know think about things whenever it gets too dark down below. You're free to use it if you like. What do you do? I need well. It still says loading, so I'm not in the the campaign yet. So I don't know if I need to roll or anything. But I'm curious. What what were these mines? What did they uh, mine from these caves? Zeke will kill me if I don't hunt for something while I'm down there. Bring him some sort of little gift. I mean, mainly gold, iron. Uh, okay. All right. Always the the rare find of uh, finding some mithril. That's oh, such a beauty. But uh, you know, just your standard, your standard mining stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is, Is there, there anything, anything with, with the water? water? Any any magical, magical powers or mystical powers with the water that, that I need to be aware, aware of? Not that I know of. It just tastes funny. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. I'm assuming you can find your way out. Um, best of luck to you. Yep, I'll work on it. Yep. As soon as roll 20 ever loads up. But I'm, oh, boy. I'm listening to y'all and I'm meditating. <laughs> um, so, um, so you, uh, like, I'm guessing meditate a little bit. Um eventually uh like you, you know you close your eyes and whatnot uh you can hear v the voices talking around you uh they grow a little bit more distinct like you can actually make out exactly you know what they're saying you can be so much more don't settle for just doing be something. Always deserve to be nothing but laying with the dogs. You know, just all these both negative or positive, you know, ideas as different people from your past or, you know, from your from your ancestry uh, talk to you. Okay. This is the kinder, gentler Roxasha that I'm learning to embrace instead of just the uh, kill them all, let God sort them out. Indeed. Um, so I'd say, like, you uh, stay there for probably a good part of the day, um, but eventually, you know, come back out um, and start the, the mile trek back to town. Uh, probably a little bit, you know, more self-connected. Um, so yeah, uh, and then does anybody else, uh, give anything a shot? No, I think I'm satisfied if there's nothing special at the general store. I think there, I'll probably still... Y'all drop trying to figure out what the hell's up with Rock Shasha. I'm gonna take all. Is Rock Shasha back yet? Yeah, he he eventually comes back like late, like kind of late in the day. 
Rakshasa. Hey, big oaf. Come yes. with me. We got things to sell. All right. I need to offload some of this anyway. Giddy up. I take him to the, uh, <laughs> the blacksmith. And as soon as I get there, I'm like, all right. I have goods to sell. <laughs> hmm. All right. What, what, what can I get from you? Always well, looking for some good, uh, some good weaponry. Ah, no problem. As a merchant of war, as I like to say, I have things for you. Let's. I have some crossbows for your town guards that you're welcome to sell to them at a up price. But for you, I'll do you very well, my friend. All right. Sounds good. Then, so, uh. So what what kind of crossbows Rakshasa. are they? They're light. Light crossbows. Um, and I don't. Remember, I think I gave. How many did I give you, Rashasa? Like six. Yep, six great swords. I believe it was. Right, I gave you the six great swords. Did I give you any crossbows? Or just the great swords. Just the swords. Okay. The great swords. The heavy uh, ass swords. Did I mention the damn things are heavy? I look to him like, hush, thou Rakshasa, hush. But men are talking. Yeah, that's weird. Then... <laughs> but then I have six, uh, yeah, six crossbows I want to sell. So, I... so six. All right, so... All right. So I can. Uh... I'll, give it... I'll give them to you for a nice, cheap rate. We. You know, they're used, so they've been proven to work, and I've tested them tremendously. And then, There's a lot of blood you know on these. I'm... Well, of course. How else do you test one? Well, usually... Silly man. Usually with targets, not with uh, oh, things that not bleed. Hunt... You never hunt rabbits for your tests? Not... not... A... You not look at me. Look at my beak. I love meat. <laughs> Fair enough. Now... And he is a hoarder. Exactly. A hoarder of all these good weapons. So I have six crossbow lights. I'll do you one well. Ten gold each. Deal. All right. And then I hold, get out the great swords. All right. Uh, 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 these great swords. T and they're, I had Raksha saw we set them down in front of him. Just very well. Master. Fills up his entire like uh, shop section with just great swords. <laughs> are these beauties? And and now uh, these are not just any great sword. These are Barrett great swords. <laughs> You know who the great founder at the foundry of Barrett is. Now, we know the real price for these. We, but I'll do you a good one like a digital on the crossbows. All six. Or, like twiddling my hands or whatever, 240 gold. All six for 240? All six for 240. You know, that's a savings right there, and you can up upcharge it as well. Indeed. All right. You, that's, that's quite the deal right there. Uh, shakes your hand on it. And then last but not least, my good friend, these beautiful odor, these beautiful scimitars from the fucking kingdom of Rhodesia. Like, holds them out. I have a few for you if you would care. You said they're See, they're one, they're two, scimitars. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and I just sit there and it's like you know, 
I have these great deals, all of these great deals. <clears throat> For these nine, I'll let them pass at their going price, which we know is too bad. About around the 200, so I'll do 200 for him. Ah, uh, that, that's too steep for my blood. Ah, uh, but think about it. It's all part of this bundle. You got all this a great deal. You got the crossbows, these great swords, and now these simtars. The, the highest Everything I can steep. go is 162 for for the whole lot. I'll give you 180 for the simtars. Deal. All right. Remove all this crap. Might have to buy this guy. He has a lot of gold. <laughs> yeah. Well, not anymore. You just well, he you just sold shipped. it all. No, no, we're They're talking about barrel. Leak. Oh, okay. <laughs> Am I still at the uh, church? Uh, no. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd say you can sweet. be, or you could have, you know gone and done some done some shopping or whatnot. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna say I stayed at the church because it's been a, a while since I've actually had time as a cleric to, you know worship and go through prayer and all that good stuff. Fair enough. Crap, I just deleted this my fucking right. window just shifted and I deleted something. I have no idea what I deleted. Oh dear. Oh well. You probably deleted the great axes and the crossbows. No, I was I was deleting all the crossbows and the tires, and it was something under my rope, something with an R, and like the window shifted, so the remove button went down, and I removed it. <laughs> Is this line gonna take long? All right. But anyways, Any, anything else? All right. Well, good sir, that sounds good to me. You know what? You have a wonderful day. Good doing right, business with you. Mm -hmm. Rakshasa, here you go. I'll give you 40 what am I gold. Picking up? I'll give him oh. 40 gold. I thought you were going to load me down with more equipment, boss. No, Rakshasa, you've earned it for carrying all that. Here you go. Okay. I give him 40 gold. You are an excellent pack mule. Donkashan. That's for Deej and for keep your mouth shut, uh, blacksmith. Hey, Y'all have a good one now. Uh, he he waves you goodbye and starts examining all of these blade, like these blood covered weapons. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while to wash all of them. Um, but all right. but yeah. Um, so I want to go back to the temple real quick. I'm gonna. Give and speaking of the temple, to get, we're gonna all meet up at the uh, end. And speaking of the temple, uh, Xandar, you you do notice that they do have like they have some supplies uh, that they you know sell, uh, you know your typical like faith supplies like the uh, spell casting stuff like all sorts. Okay, uh, um, this is more of a question as this is the first time I'm a cleric. What components and stuff am I looking for? Um, like, is there anything, like, I know there's, like, spell components for stuff like Revivify and, like, higher level spells, but, like, is early level stuff, is there really anything I'm looking for? Not really. I mean, I'd say the biggest thing is if you ever want to make, like, holy water, because there is that kind of thing, you'd need the, like, the silver, that kind of stuff. Um, okay. your basic supplies are technically covered, um, okay. but they do have, like, other stuff that they sell, um, like, potions of healing, or they give services, like, curing wounds, that kind of stuff. Um. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure I'm, you know, stocked up. I spent time in prayer. Um, I do wanna ask... The, uh, the guy that we interacted with, is he, like, the, just, like, the head of this, like, local congregation? Yeah. Okay. Kind of, I do want to talk to him. Ah, uh, um, greetings, my son. Greetings. Um, this is a, quite a far stretch, but my brother who came in with me 
uh, and I have been sent on a quest from our people. Mm. We are on we are on search for um um uh, where was it where was it where was it um was it correct me if I'm wrong uh, it was we're looking for like an artifact from the Adriania like from her yeah basically one of the pieces of her like staff or her rod okay. or whatnot okay my uh brother and i are on this quest for um part, pieces of the holy rod of the Adriania uh, have you heard anything of this do you know about her holy staff uh i am aware of the story um from my understanding, it may have been more meant as a symbolic uh, breaking of the staff, uh, the forces of good, you know, falling against the forces of chaos, uh, but with the promise of rising again. If it was to be literal, um, I do suppose it. the information might be in a great library. Um, many, many of the nations have, you know, these, these great libraries. Um, I would say possibly the kingdom of Rhodesia is where you'd want to look. Um, they have, they are an ancient peoples and their records go back many generations, far, far more than our own kingdoms um that that is all i can give you but again it it may only be a metaphor not a literal uh, yes. this, I, uh, I am aware of your words. people's belief though it's you know this was something that my brother and i were uh this was kind of our given quest that we were just to set out across the land and see what we could find. Um, I feel like in our village it's passed down from the next cleric, from one cleric to the next cleric, and eventually they're hoping that we can one day come across these uh, these holy relics, if they do exist in our world, or in our realm. I will say it is quite the ambitious... Uh tradition um and i would suppose that it also makes for a great coming of age uh you if i'm not mistaken your your people don't live quite as long as humans and elves and such correct uh yeah that is correct we uh in the grand scheme of things we do tend to have uh what would be considered a shorter lifespan and making such use of it while you have it is quite the noble goal. We, uh, and, and, and you know, this has come, um, many great things have been found for our, our, uh, village on these noble quests. So while we do set out for this holy staff, it's, you know, a journey of our own that the elders know that we need to go on to bring back, you know, more knowledge to the, the village and help it thrive and continue to grow and change. As, as the book says, may the light guide your path and find the road you did not know you need to take. And may the skies be clear and the wind beneath your wings. Uh, well, that's... Yes, that is a passage, but that's not <laughs> directly after that passage. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, still, still a good one, nonetheless. Uh, it tends to be one of our personal favorites, seeing as I spread my wings. Fair, fair are... enough, yes. <laughs> Literal flight d tends to... Literal flight. Bring one eye, one's eye to different passages, indeed. Uh, well, um, uh, 
I do appreciate your uh, hospitality. It has been far too long since uh, I have been able to come into a church of the the Adri. And please do uh, join us uh, tonight. Uh, be glad to have you. Absolutely. All right. Um, um, so he he goes do, about and, and, and talks to some of his other you know members of the congregation and whatnot. Right, and then I'll uh, I'll set off to find uh, my brother. Um, and then literally as you're leaving, I believe this is when Zeke's like basically finally offloaded all of his uh, weapons that he's been collecting uh, and is heading back to the temple. Brother, good to see you. Ah, uh, yes, Zeke. What did you get yourself into while, while on your little trip? Well, you know me, I, I love collections, so that I had to do, sell brother. some today. But uh, you... you'll be surprised, we came out pretty well, and I, I hand him, I you know, just hand him the, a little bag of gold, it's about 50. Oh, Zeke, this is wonderful. Whoa, 50? I didn't say, that's why I didn't say <laughs> the amount, I didn't say the amount out loud to him. <laughs> <That's just laughs> <the bag. laughs> Zeke, this is wonderful. Everyone's welcome. Now, um, we must get to the other so I can get them some as well. Oh, I do want to go. I do want to go to like a uh, a smith shop and see if I can find some studded leather armor. Uh, <laughs> so you, we just, you... just. So there is uh, a a uh, a smith shop, a leather workers shop, uh, and he yeah. does have. Uh, some studded leather. It is for 45 GP. So, okay. be before we go now, let's grab the others. We were just there. Old demon boy's too poor, so let's go ahead and I'll give him his sh give him and Drin their share. Right. Um, if that's what you want to do, Zeke, I would like to go. Uh, are they all coming back to the shop with us? Yeah, let's go. Drin may sulk about. He's been weird lately, but eh, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> fucking weird. So let's go. Very well, Zeke. I'll, I'll follow you this time. Um, and Xandar, by the way, uh, I don't know if you've gotten to check it out yet, but um, mm -hmm. that book now has an actual property to it. Um, oh, cool. It is basically like a collection of spell scrolls, so like one-time use uh, spells. Um, oh, nice. And you can use, like, one of them technically, or you could use them more than once. It's just got a max of four charges. Oh, is that what the, uh, the Book of the Dragons that I have now? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. So you guys, I'm guessing, all meet back up for the first time since you guys have, uh, gotten here um i'm supposing this would be where dren finally will tells everybody about uh the the plan to go to the cemetery possibly yeah sorry you're gonna have to re refresh my memory about the cemetery so basically uh as of late there were like some instances of like animals and stuff going missing um and recently they also found like some graves being dug up uh they were gonna head back to the cemetery tonight to see if they can discover anything or uh catch anybody in the act or anything um it seems like people are messing with forces that are unnatural okay yeah so i i retell with them of that and uh Ask them their thoughts. You know, you know, guys, we've kind of run into a lot of undead recently. Now we come here, and there seems to be some undead as well. What, what do you guys make of that? Well, I don't know. It's, <laughs> you guys seem to have a lot of undead around these areas, not unlike back home. Yeah, it seems a little bit more common than even where I'm from. 
What do you think, demon? The living cannot ne know the motives of those who have passed on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ever helpful as always, demon. And I throw up the head, and the head says, "I agree." <laughs> <laughs> I literally shit my shit. I'm like, "What the fuck, God? Oh, you gotta stop doing that, man." God, <laughs> smells awful in here. Oh my god. Um. Right, so, what time is it right now? So it's uh it's approaching about uh like six o'clock probably. Well, before you keep going, Tran, hold on, and I I, I hand out and give them all a uh, a small bag of gold each. Yeah, so we're gonna be a little bit more detailed than that. <laughs> and it's, it's fifty for each of y'all. Fifty each. So will you be no, upping I, mine by 10? Don't <laughs> worry, you. I will always treat you right. Calm down. We gotta find you a good weapon. The 40s for you to blow on all your stable sleeping. And we'll find you a good weapon. Uh, and I look over at Karathu. I knew you needed money for some armor, so, you know, do what you will with this, demon. The head says we thank you. <laughs> Jesus God. God, this smells awful. <laughs> Every time he does it, I just like freak out. It takes me by surprise. <laughs> Can we get the breath mint for it? Every time it talks. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys head over to the the leather worker. Um, I believe both Karathu and Xandar want some, some medium armor, but unfortunately he's only got one uh, set of studded leather. I pull out my dice, I'll roll you for it. You should have seen me sneaky earlier, he sucks. Um... Let's let's have some fun, shall we? Uh oh, are we gambling? All right. So if I could get uh, each of you to roll three d six. Hey, Drin, I bet you won <laughs> gold. The demon the boy loses. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a sure win for you. Uh, so I, I believe this game is called uh, it's like Dragon Eye Ante or something. Um, <clears throat> basically, rules are basically twenty one. Uh, and we like add d6 each time, all right? So, uh, as everyone rolling, Rakshasa, are you are you wanting to roll for the uh, uh, for the uh, oh, what, for the armor for as well? Anyways. Well, I, sorry, I was just uh, rolling for my extra ten gold pieces. Little wing boy chipped me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Karathu, uh, do you want to do you want to uh, hit or uh, stay? So the goal is to get. As close I thought. As possible to the yeah. All right. Hey, am I allowed to use sleight of hand to cheat? Uh, you can try. You'll be rolling against uh, Xandar's uh, perception. Try to decide. This is my strongest thing. Uh, eh, I'll just go with it. I'm gonna. I just gotta roll one more time then. So roll three d six again. No, just one. You add one d six to your total. So you're at sixteen. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. So you're at. Yeah, I guess. Sixteen. Uh, All right, uh, Xandar, that's going to be you at a d6 now. Wait, how is he at 16? He's at 10 right now. Oh, uh, wait. 6 was Rakshasa. My bad. That's what I'm saying. He's at 10. He's at 10. So Karathu's going to take a roll. Yeah, you got to roll a d6. Just roll 1d6. That. All right, so now you're at, you're at 13. Uh, Xandar, what about you? I'm going to roll. All right. You're both at 13. So I'm 13. at 13. All right. Karathu, do you want to hit or stay? 
Okay, not really. So not another D6. Yep. So 15 Xandar. I'm going to roll. All right. So that so is 16. 16. All right. Carithu, do you want to hit or stay? I'll hit because I can't win. I yeah. Stay. Eventually, it'll get. All right. So now you're at 17. All right. Xandar, you want to hit or stay? Um, I got to roll. I'm at 16, correct? Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, five or less. Oh. oh. Bust. So, uh, Karathu, it's your call. So you can dev. Uh, you can uh, buy the studded I'm leather. Nice. I'm gonna be nice and let the priest have it since he saved our ass in the last time. And I'm gonna steal the purse of the uh, guy who um, he sells it to right after he's finished paying. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding. I'm gonna wait until everybody's uh, done doing their purchases before I make this attempt again. So, right, so I've added, I added fifty gold from Zeke to my inventory. Yeah, and then now you take okay. forty-five out and add studded leather. Cool. Um, would you? Can I sell the leather that I've got? The um, regular leather armor. You can. Um, it's probably going to be, like, on the cheaper side, you know, used Wait, and whatnot. I, I have a question. I don't have any armor on. Is that supposed to have armor on? Uh, you're a wizard, so I think you can use light armor, yeah. I mean, was I supposed to start with thing? I, I don't know if you s start with armor. I'm, I'm not sure. That's fine. So how much would the NPC pay for his leather armor? Uh, the imp the imp uh, the leather worker would pay <laughs> seven GP to to buy his. Right, I'll pay him seven GP for it. Oh, for a fellow? No, no. There's no need for that. You can if you're after leather armor, you can have mine. There's no need for that. I don't argue with him whatsoever. I oh, okay. All right, hand it over. From one um, caster to another. I always appreciate no, fellow casters. So, well, I appreciate it. So I believe uh, I leather armor I is... Pay too much for under armor. So, Dren, uh, leather armor yeah. is 11 plus your dexterity mod becomes your AC. And then you have disadvantage on stealth checks. Okay. Um... Oh, leather. Okay, so leather armor. Is it automatically assigned I'm, that to me? I'm not sure, honestly. Oh. So I raise my armor class by one. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Um, and he also sells like shields and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys are interested. Uh, actually, hmm. is there is there? Does the black blacksmith have any? I looked at him and was like, do you know if there's anywhere here with, like, medium or heavy armor? Uh, I mean, yeah, you visited the guy. You sold him a bunch of freaking weapons. <laughs> and he had, like, you know, I know armor and stuff. I know, he came over here blabbing to you about it, but, but did you know if he sells it? I didn't look at him. I sold my stuff. You? I remember. I'm a bird brain. Come on. We he literally him. has the sets of armor hanging out of his window. How did you not see them? I don't pay attention to that. All right, I just walk out. Come, the giant. Wait, you're I'm not gonna out. buy anything? Uh, yeah. Me, the giant, will walk away. Let them keep doing their thing. Does, does anybody think? Does anybody do else? Anything else? Uh, over with the with the uh, leather guy. Uh, I don't do anything with the leather guy, but out of curiosity, for D and D, is there any other kind of items? That a wizard can hold that improves like a spell or his intelligence or how does that work? I mean, there are magical items that can increase like your spell save DC, your intelligence, that kind of stuff. 
Um, but mainly, like leveling up, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Um, as well as, like I think it's level four. Uh, you get you guys get like the ability to either do uh, stat increases or take a feat. Um, stat increases, you get like two points, so it can raise your intelligence and stuff by a whole point. Yeah, I don't do it. All right, so uh, Zeke, you you uh, go over to the you go back to the blacksmith. Oh God, do you have do you have more blood soaked weapons for me? Oh yeah, don't forget. Hold on, Carthew did have something he was gonna oh. do at the. Uh... I was just waiting until everybody was done by. I was gonna try and steal the leather workers first since uh, he just he just paid him a bunch of gold. Well, I I'll, I'll walk in there with him. So. It's not like he put he has like a coin purse on him uh that is uh like the money that he's been paid. It goes like into the the you know register or safe or whatnot. Um but you can definitely try to steal his coin purse. It might not have that much on him. Uh go ahead and make a stealth and then a sleight of hand. God damn it. All right. Mm. So you managed to like keep you, bro. So you managed to to sneak up uh you know beside him and whatnot and like get it off of him, but not without him noticing you're there. He's like Greetings. That's my uh that's my coin purse you got there. <laughs> I pull out the head. No, it's not the head, says. Um. Yeah, he's. He he runs out of the. St- you pull a head on him. <laughs> after trying to steal his coin purse, like he he runs out. Uh, starts you know yelling for the guards. Bad man. I'm gonna go out the back and just disappear with the coin purse. Jesus Christ. Uh, go ahead and... Isn't that what happened to us in episode one, too? What, wasn't that uh, Zeke that tried to go up and grab someone's jewel bag or something in the bathroom yep. and followed him in there? We're not too good at stealing people's stuff. So go ahead and make another, like, stealth check for me. Uh, that's... Honestly, not that good. Like, um, so you're, you, you run out the back, um, and like you're running down this alleyway, uh, some guards, uh, Hey, freeze. Uh, what do you do? Uh, where am I right now? You're basically, uh, in this alleyway between two buildings, uh, the 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 left uh, route has uh, a couple guards in front of it. Um, to the right, uh, you don't necessarily see anybody yet, but they might be like rounding the corner or something. On any of these buildings that's within reach. Say what? Is there a window or anything? I think about diving through a window. Uh, I mean. You, you might be able to do so, yeah. Uh, th- there's Or, like, you could try to get up on top of the buildings or something. They're not, you know, too tall. Yeah, I guess I'll try and climb onto the roof then. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. <laughs> it's going to be a low. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you, you managed to, to get up on top of one. Um, you see the, the, the guys are also climbing up. Uh, let me see how they do. Okay, so one of them manages to get up, like, he's right on your tail. The other one, like, partially climbs it and then, like, falls back down, um, and starts running off, basically trying to get in front of you guys. Um, what do you do? Uh, is the other building close enough to jump to? Um, with with an athletics check. Uh, so, 
So so the the natural uh, like long jump distance is uh, I think it's like five times your strength or three times your strength or something like that. Um, and then you can like roll an athletics check to do so. All right. Uh, you manage to not quite make it, but you you know pull yourself. You like land with your hands over the over the sides. Uh, pull yourself up. Um, let's see how this guy does. Uh, you see, like he flat out fault. Like he is even too farther short. Um, lands like on the ground. Uh, you know, hurt hurt his leg, whatnot. Um, what do you do? From my vantage point, are there any crowds or anything like that? Like marketplace crowds or anything like that? Not really, because it's it's a, head... it's approaching nighttime, like it's dusk. So pretty much most people have gone home. Um. Yeah, I'd say that the the biggest places where there's a crowd are gonna be uh near into the the like the inn and the tavern and whatnot, or uh towards the church. Um, I guess I'm gonna try and find some cover, or some woods or bushes or something like that to hide in for now. Uh, I'm gonna get off the building. Go ahead and make another uh, stealth check for me. All right, so you managed to uh, get out of there, you know, and get unseen. Um, unfortunately, they they've probably gotten a good look at you, uh, and you're very identifiable with horns and such. Uh, fine. I got a disguise kit that I'm proficient with, so I'm gonna do some work on myself. All right. Um, so Zeke, uh, so yeah, you you go you go hide out into the woods. Uh, so Zeke, what are what are you uh, looking at? I'm gonna put that coin purse, by the way, because you said I did steal it. Only like only twenty five pieces of gold. All right, worth every time of it. All right. Hello, good friend. I'm coming back to look for something for my buddy here. I was looking to see if you have any good heavy armor. Because as you can see, I look point to him. He's quite strong. He can hold it. Um, it's I... not for me. I thought you were buying it for me. Twelve X. I will point out that uh, Rakshasa doesn't get any benefits from heavy armor. Oh, does he not? No, barbarians get a boost AC if they're unarmored. Oh, again, guys, you gotta remember, I'm a monk. I don't know this stuff. I don't know nothing about barbarians. Although, although he, like, he can like use a, a shield. Giant, like, you don't like armor? Oh. So, does he do bar outside of the outside of the I guess meta whatever? Do they wear armor at all or? No, they. Oh, like, how does how does how does how does his armor class stuff work? His armor class is his constitution uh, plus his dex uh, plus it's like 10 or something. Okay. So armor doesn't work? Yeah, it doesn't work for him. He can use like, sh you can use like shields uh, and then, but then you can't do like the two-handed weapons like a great sword. Yeah, or a it's not, it's not great, a barbarian. Great you might as well be a fighter. Do you have, well, I sold you those wonderful weapons. I was wondering if you have anything better than the great, the great swords I sold you. Something that can cause good damage for my wonderful berserker right here. Well, um, that's, that's a bit hard to say because great swords are very effective at what they do. Um. Uh, Almost more so better than like an axe or a maul uh, because they're, you know, to the point. Um, honestly, I don't think there, I have anything better than such. 
Or do you have anything that you think we could use? Uh, he uh, pulls out one of the great swords and is like, <laughs> "Yes, I acquired these earlier I today." Hey, <laughs> and look it over and say, "That's mighty fine. I hope you got a good price for it." Oh, I think I did. Yeah. Well. I have nothing that he can use. I mean, theoretically... I don't think there's anything I can use. Because I... I have a... So, outside the conversation, I have Simtar that I use... Like, I have to use, like, you know, light, kind of one-handed weapons. I think the Simtar is probably the best for my character. Unless... So, I mean, he's got some, like, some javelins that you could, like, refresh your supply of javelins with or give yourself, you know, more javelins to use. Um, he's also got, you know, like a battle axe uh, and, a, like, a halberd, so things that have, like, reach, so where you could be, like, ten feet away and still attack people. Um, but other than that, a warhammer is one, one of the better weapons that you can have. As well as a great sword. I don't think I can use. I, I was okay. I don't think I can do that though. So I was trying to think for myself. Fair now. enough. So, I know the Simtar, which it's pretty good. It does a one d six. Is there something like one handed kind of? I think I think it has to be light. Hold on, let me check my. Uh. Duh, duh, duh. It says monk weapons, and whatever I find out about monk weapons, were just like light, one-handed weapons. Um, uh, does he have anything I could probably use? Uh, Maybe let's better see. than a simtar. It's better than a simtar. Um, so what what kind of damage does your uh, simtar do? One d six. And it has a it has a. It's slashing damage. Yeah, it has a... It, uh, my hit DC for the plus four. Well, the, the hit with it is not going to be any different. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Like, unless you're okay. doing, like, a ranged weapon, uh, it's not going to be any different. And even oh, then... Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Because like my range, when I do ranged weapons and unarmed strikes, I have plus six. So I didn't know if the Simtar affected the hit die. Okay, never mind. So uh, it should be. Oh wait, wait. I'm thinking of so finesse weapons. You can uh, use your dex instead of strength. Uh, so a Simtar, you have to use strength. Uh, is your strength or dex higher? Uh, Simtar is a finesse weapon. My dex is higher. So you should be able to use your dex with it. Okay. Are you proficient in it? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. I know that might be what it is. Is plus is plus six. And short bow is plus six. That might be what it is. You're you're not proficient with it. Um, you will get there, little buddy. All right. What, uh, what classifies as a simple weapon? I'm honestly not sure. I think they have to be light one-handed, or just one-handed weapons, like a boomerang. So clubs, maces, um, clubs and maces, basically. It looks like. My javelin says it's simple. Well, alright then. Well, I'll give you... Uh, two gold for five javelins. For five javelins? 
nah. Uh... My, my javelins are very well crafted. They are five silver pieces each. Well, that's two and a half gold. I thought we could make a deal since I did you so well earlier over half a gold. Well, I also did you very well with the, the great swords. With the great price I gave them to you for, buddy? No, the oh, great no. the great okay, price I bought them from you for. Sure, sure, sure. But what's half a gold between fellow merchants? It's half a gold. Uh, well, I guess you don't need any. As you have used up your stock of gold today. Well, let's go, giant. Okay, boss. <laughs> well, head out. So it's uh, now about approaching uh, like nighttime. Um, do you guys? Um, what What do you guys do? Make our way to the graveyard. I think we're going to go back to the tavern. Tavern. <laughs> uh. So, so Dren, you uh, head over to the graveyard. Did, did the guy at the church tell me what time the event was starting? Uh, it's it's gonna be later on tonight. Okay, so I'd have time to go to the graveyard and then come back for that. Yeah. Would I assume? Okay. Uh, I'll go with them. All right. So all of us mind the go to the graveyard. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, you see that Rakshasa? Yeah. What's that? The the thing in chat. Okay. Yeah, the tangled. Yeah, he's okay. a, yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys uh, head to the graveyard. Um, it is you know very much approaching night. Uh, eventually, you guys uh, meet this you know guy dressed in um, in armor. Uh, greetings. Um, are you are you are associates of of this one? Of uh, uh, what is yeah. it? Associates of what? Uh, he he you, points to points to Dren. Uh, you you guys are associates of his. His. That's one word for it. Hmm. I mean, I'm just here. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, so Karathu, are yes, you, are, are you in, dis are you in disguise or not? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been staying in the back. <laughs> this all big town after I did disguise, yeah. Um, okay, so he, he does not recognize you. Um, alrighty. So th this is our, our local graveyard. Um, for whatever, for whatever reason... Uh, there's been some recent trouble, uh, out here, and we were hoping to see if we could, uh, catch anybody in the act. Um, now, yeah. we, if we can, we need to take the culprits in alive, um, but if things get hairy, you know, put down anybody that threatens your life. What are we Damn time. Grave what robbers. What are we looking for? Grave robbers? I don't believe I, it. I, I don't I know. I mean, usually grave I robbers... Usually, usually grave robbers don't steal bodies. So, I don't believe it's, no. it's grave robbers. I always heard dwarves had a problem with cannibalism. Mm -hmm. Well, we we don't even know if it's dwarves. Um, yeah. so yeah, uh, he. I don't know where you got that from. Oh, I thought they. I thought we said we came to the town. There's a lot of dwarves. I mean, there are some dwarves, but it's not like the entire town. Like, there's also humans, elves, uh, gnomes. It's just a lot of people uh, that are I, working in the mines. Okay. I thought. I thought. I thought this was a lot of dwarves in the town. That's why I thought I made that comment. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those dwarves are fucking weird. Anyways, what's up? Uh, so he uh, he pulls out a, a key, unlocks the unlocks the gate, um, and like uh, motions you guys to go in uh, to follow him in. Um, uh, I do de detect magic before I walk in. Okay, um, so what what's the range on detect magic? The range for detect magic is uh, three feet. I'm on my stuff. We have not taken a long rest, correct? I no. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, so yeah, you uh don't see anything uh, with your detect magic um, as you I'm guessing walk in you're you know looking down at these at these graves and whatnot looking up around um, you do see eventually like the uh, the torch the the, uh, the lanterns are magically lit they they stay you know it's like an eternal flame kind of thing um, but it's not hot. It's one of those, like, light, it only gives off light, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, th there's, from, from what you guys can see, uh, there's like a, there's like a mausoleum there up towards the, uh, the north left corner. Uh, there's like a statue of like a robed figure, um, up at the very north. Um, and then there's, like, several gravesides off to, uh, the east, and then, so, uh, some more off towards, uh, the south that have been disturbed. Can I do a religion check on the statue, if that's, like, a robe figure? So, so you'd actually, ha like, you'd very have to get very close to it, um... So so yeah, you uh, you approach the statue. Uh, go ahead and make a religion check for me. Um, I mean it just has this like vague, uh, you know, guide our spirits into the next, you know, that kind of thing. Not anything really identifiable about it. How um, many folks is that the main guide uh, are there with us? Just him? It's just him. I mean, so the he's the only one like going in with you. Uh, there's there's other people like you know trying to make sure, looking for people in the the area around, uh, but not actually going into the the graveyard. Okay. So do, does anybody check out the the mausoleum? Yeah, I'll walk over towards the mausoleum. All right. Go with him. So you, you go, George. So you guys uh, walk into uh, this, uh, like this marble building, basically. Um, it seems like some of the Is like it dark inside there. It it's not extremely dark. Like there's a torch light that you guys can see from. They, these magical uh, torches on the ground, um, mm -hmm. and but, but it's not like lit inside there. You know, it, it's just sh shining through. Uh, looks like this might have been where the like the founders of the town or the nobles uh, that have ruled it for a little while uh, are buried. Um, mm. uh, Dren, what about you? Um, if they're going there. I'll go with them. All right. And then Rakshasa. I'm gonna. Are any of the graves open? Yeah, there's some some towards the northeast, some towards the uh, the the southeast. Um. And then you see the uh, the town guard guy is going over to some uh, down to the southwest. I'm going to go sit in one of them. All right. And 
wait. Alrighty. Uh, so Carathu, um, you're uh, looking over this. You're looking at the statue. Um, you notice like a raven sitting on top of it, looking at you. Back at the Raven. Car! Hello yourself. Um, Rakshasa, you're uh, you're sitting in this in this grave, um, and this uh, like. At the edge of the grate, like basically where the the headstone stands, um, this this raven flies down and looks at you. Uh, it seems to be unnatural. Does this raven speak? Kaka. Is that common giant, primordial, or undercommon? No, it's because if it ain't either of them, I, I don't know what the hell he's saying. All right, <laughs> and uh, um, oh, go ahead. And uh, who was who was casting detect magic? Me. Um. So, and then you guys in the in the mausoleum, uh, one uh comes and perches like in in the, uh the crooks of it, um. You notice a magical aura coming off of it, um, and it just caws at you guys. Kaka! Do I speak I bird? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Talk it, back in bird. It, it speaks. It speaks uh, Eric Hocker, doesn't it? <laughs> Avian. Uh. I don't... But yeah, you you notice a um, an enchantment or a, an illusory aura coming off of it. Um, would Arcana be appropriate to cast to see if I could check uh, anything else about about the magic? So it's you could do an Arcana check to see if you can recognize what kind of ma- like what it might be. Um. But, yeah. Can I, can I, can I cast perception? It's not casting the skills, but you can roll a I perception know, I was, check. Yeah. I was, I was, I was making a joke on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I want a level five arcana. So, can I cast level five arcana spell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do it. a. Uh, I want to do a either perception or insight to see because would he so, uh Drin, do you tell us that you like detect something go from the raven yeah i'll let you know i see a, an aura coming from it um i don't know what kind of aura right now but there's definitely something it's more than just a raven um can i do either like an archon or insight to check and see if i can tell what it is coming off of it um so yeah you can do an, an insight check um, and Dr- okay. Duran, if you want to do an Arcana check for me, I want to fly. I want to fly up to it. Okay, I got a fifteen. Okay, so a fifteen. Um, you get a dark feeling about this. Like it is a negative kind of energy. I'm a. I'm- I'm still um, flying up to it though. Um, Dren? No, I, I grab him by the leg before he takes off. I, I, I like get, I'm no, gonna, like, uh, get Zeke, away from him. Zeke, Zeke does manage to uh, to get up to it. Like it's you doing the uh, the insight Zeke check is while speak, Zeke is going towards it. Zeke. Um, Zeke no. Dren, right, so I, you uh, you gather that it's illusory magic, so it looks like it looks like something that it is not. Um, and Zeke, uh, as you fly up to it, um, it, like, hisses at you, um. Oh. That's okay. No, it's okay. I'm, like, calm, like, flying, like, pretty fast towards it, like, 
It's okay. It's okay, little man. Like, stick my arm out. Like, it's like, so, like, so, like, you know, I'm friendly. Does, like, I want to get close to it. Am I close to it? So, oh boy, it crit you. Um, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm like, Oh, no, no if, you're, like, if you're there, hit. I want to, because as soon as I get close, I want to stab it. Uh, you can you can stab it, uh, but it's already oh, go yeah. it's already uh, stinging you. Um, so that's a crit. That's fine. So it deals seven seven piercing damage, seventeen poison damage. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, okay. So it deals uh, seven seven piercing damage, um, and then I need you to a. Uh, to roll a uh, Constitution saving throw. <laughs> he did. God. Yes. So you I'll only take you only take half of seventeen. Is that round rounded down? Up, right. It's rounded up to nine. It's rounded it's rounded down. down. Oh. Two right. eight. But now my question is, did I did I kill it? Uh yeah, you can attack it. So go ahead and roll damage. Birds, I hit it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that is a miss. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, go up to it, getting ready to strike it at the last moment, um, and then it like breaks the mirage um, as it like has a scorpion tail stab you. Um, you see this like this little devilish figure. Uh, with like this scorpion tail and these like, uh, like, kind of like goat's legs and wings, bat wings, um, like the illusion drops. Um, if I could get everybody to go ahead and roll initiative. Jesus Christ, Z. these in. is everybody rolled yeah rock shots have rolled a 20 he's just chilling, chilling outside, outside. It's bougie daddy mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> too, daddy. too soon <laughs> all right so rakshasa that's you first uh, the one that's right. near the one that's near you uh, drops the disguise, uh, and it turns from this like right. raven into this you know nasty little beast. So I can stand there. Yeah. All right. I'm not even gonna fool around with him. I am going to go into a rage. All right. And. I'm going to take my fancy dancy great sword and I am going to that'll hit I'm back and damage ooh damn ooh wait is that Oh wait, that's that not, that's not damage. Bonus either. No, no he not. rolled a one d. That's a d twenty that he rolled on the second one. I just hit the. Oh, icon. you need to you need to hit the. All right, let me just hit the icon to the left, and it'll roll them both. That's yeah. Still not bad. Two d six, and then you still get the rage bonus, which is I believe a plus two still. So Sixteen damage. 16 damage. Um, you see, as you slash it, um, it seems like it doesn't take the full amount. Uh, it looks like it might resist. 
Uh, but it still seems to do quite a good bit. All right. Oh, no. Xandar, that's going to be you. Oh, oh, I'm very upset with this thing after uh, attacking my brother like that. So I am going to cast Guiding Bolt. Oh, Lord. All right. I am not happy with it. So, and let me, I want to make sure something, if I only have to use the spell slot if it hits, correct? Uh, no, you, you use the spell. This you, is an attack? You use the spell slot whether it hits or misses. To cast it? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. All right, so 21. That'll hit. Nine radiant damage. Um, you see, you see it takes the full amount, uh, doing a good amount of damage. All right, anything else from you? Uh, that's it for now. All right. Because that is well. All righty. So that is going to be, um... So Carithu, the one on top of the uh, on top of the the robed figure, its disguise drops. Uh, it looks to be this like giant like bat with like these like bony uh, spines coming out of it. Um, it is going to. Where is Carithu? Not with us. No, I mean I don't need to see him on the map. He's not with us. Yeah, we're up above me and uh, Raka are above the ground. You guys are down below. I think. Do you have us on different maps? No. 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 He's. Uh, okay. He's obstructed to you guys. Uh, okay. Gotcha. You guys can't quite see him, so it's going to fly past you. Uh, let's see. It's going to fly past you um, to him. And it is going to... Uh, so as it flies by you, Carithu, uh, it's going to like try to stab you with its tail. Alright, that's going to be a 19 to hit. Uh, and it deals uh, 5 piercing damage. Alright, in response to that, um, can I use my uh, Hellish Rebuke on it? Uh, you, you can. Because it doesn't provoke opportunity Ooh. attacks, but it does uh, provoke that. <laughs> so it needs to make a Dexterity save. Let's see. It has advantage on magical effects, so it's going to get to roll this at advantage. Alright, so it got a 17. So it takes half of the 17. Oh, man. So... So half of the 17 is uh, 8. Um, so you see you blast it with this fire. Uh, it doesn't look to do anything to it. And then it's going to take an attack on uh, Zeke. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Zeke, that's a 15 to hit. Misses. Okay. All right. So, that is going to be... That's going to be Zeke. All right. Look to... Uh... Am I, do I know any, do I recognize what these are? Uh, not really. 
I mean, you've never seen it before in your life. Uh, actually, go ahead and make a religion check for me. I, I was gonna say, can I ask? Uh, can I ask the Dandar? Have, can I? Do we have twins to speak, or whatever? It doesn't matter. We're all right there. Can I like? What are these? So I'd I'd say you might know yourself just because you also grew up in a very religious community. And this might be something that you would take interest in. So if you want to roll. Uh, okay. I am able to I still have uh, religion as my uh, proficiency from when I changed it to talking to the dead. Say what? I'm... I was going to ask if I could roll too on the guy that just attacked me because I have proficiency in religion still from my uh, talking to the dead thing. Well, you can uh, roll it on, on your turn. You you can make the check if it's not in the open yet. All right, I I'll, I'll do it, but I know I'm, I have garbage. Wow. All right, take that back. Take it there. Um. So you you remember like reading through like the like some of the the textbooks and stuff, and like it's definitely one of those situations where yeah, I could totally take that. I want to punch that in the face. Um. You recognize. Uh, the little ones as imps, uh, and then the bigger the one. Silver, I, I, I can't really see what the difference are. I just see color difference. Yeah, you see the the red ones are the are imps, um, and then the silver one looks to be like a bone devil or some or a spine devil or something. I was doing the right same thing, Drin. Silver is a, what is it? Bone devil or spine devil, something like that. Okay. So, with my knowledge of the, like reading about them, do I remember if like if I punch this, will it hurt me? Uh, I think. I think. Yeah, you you would know that it doesn't. Or, it it's not. You can punch around the spikes. Okay, so I I know where to, I know. I'm proficient enough to know where to try to land these. Yeah. Okay, so in my monk training, I figured it out. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, uh, all right, so I will rain, rain a fury of blows. Which one's, I guess, in my... It looks like I'm, I'm next to both. Or is that one outside right here? Uh, I mean, it's it's tiny, so technically it's able to occupy even this like very little corner right here you could hit either of them okay i just make sure um which one is weaker or which one would be probably easier for me to attack since i know what they are i mean you just saw xandar blast the one with a guiding bolt so you can figure that one's that one? probably going to be a bit weakened that one right there yeah okay the red one yeah yeah all right i will take my stim tar to it. All right. Uh, so I'll swing left, strike it upon its uh, stomach, biting it. And then I will take my bonus action to do uh, Fury of Blows upon it. So 13 hit. So a 13 does hit. So, right. wait, so your scimitar itself uh, kills the red one. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. And then That's what I was waiting to see. Yeah. And then uh, it also, uh, the, a 13 also hits the, the spine devil. Okay. All right. So, crit. That's just max damage. Okay. And then, let's see. All right, so. It... Do it again. Hold on, hold on. Uh... It's still Fury of Blows. Indeed. Uh, it'll take another six. That's 14 against it. Alright. 
Uh, you see that while your punches are connecting, they don't seem to be doing full damage. Okay. All right. And uh, for my last little bit, I yell, I yell to, uh, I yell to Zandar to, uh, Zandar, would you have a minute to give me one of the potions? Or his next turn. See, I told you, wait. Um, so yeah. So, Zeke, that's uh, going to be the end of your turn. Uh, Dren, that's you. All right, I move right here. I uh, cast Firebolt on the silver one. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. So you uh, blast it with this fire. Uh, it opens its mouth and just, like, breathes it in. Um, what can I do now? Because I just move. I guess I can move and that's it. Yeah. Uh, if you have any bonus action spells that you can cast, you can do those. Um, I don't think I... Where would it say that at? Uh, so, like, you would uh, look at the description of the, cell, uh, the spell. It'll be like a casting time, a bonus action. Um, there's, there's very few of them that I think you get access to. Yeah, um, I don't think I have any. All right. All right. Hey, my turn. So that is going to be uh, the imp's turn. Um, so this one is going to come out of hiding. Which one? We have light. We have uh, variant light on us. So if you're, it, it may not be anything we can see right now. Well, it's it's invisible as well. Oh, uh, true. All right. So, uh, you see, well, you feel something fly by you, um, Zeke, and then uh, something stabs you. Do I use the wave of the monk to try to punch it as it flies? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily like leave. Like it's you don't get an opportunity attack on it because it's ending its turn near you. Unless you have like some some special ability specifically for something like that. Yeah. Um, it is going to uh, try to sting you. Uh, that is a twenty-one to hit. So it deals uh so it deals seven piercing damage and I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Uh critical save. Nice. Uh so you only take uh five poison damage. Uh, I just fucking play something. And All right. I look like I'm fucking about to fall. All right, Rakshasa. Now one's making uh, a sting attack on you. Which one? Can you highlight him so I'll know where he's at? He's. Or is he in the the dark? He's he's right. He, oh, he, that one. He's right on you. Yeah. Uh, and there's not much left to him. Didn't Zandar get him too? No. Oh, I thought that's one that Zandar got. Um. So that's a 22 to hit. Uh, it deals oh, yeah. 6 piercing damage, and I need you to roll a con save. What save? Constitution saving throw. Let's see. Constitution. Up left underneath your stats. Just see saving throws. Up left. Constitution. Yep. Well, caught myself rolling. Thirteen. All right. So you only take five poison damage. Okay. Uh, and it like you know as it as it jabs you, it like you know laughs evilly. Um, 
Bless his heart. That's going to be Carithu. Um, I'm going to move 5, 10, 10, 20, 25, 30 right here. And I'm going to apply poison to my crossbow bolt. I think it's 3. Alrighty. So that is an action to do, I believe. Yeah, just, uh, my bonus action will be to attempt to hide, I guess, in the tombstone. All right. Behind the tombstone. So go ahead and roll a... Okay. Yeah, you uh, disappear behind, like, in between these two, uh, these two headstones. Um, yeah. All right. Rakshasa, that's back up to you. Yeah, I am still in the grave. So I am going to take my great sword again, and I'm going to attempt to cut his little Tyrannosaurus Rex feet off. All right. And... Yeah. So a 14 hits, uh, you deal 8 slashing damage, which is enough to kill it. Alright. Who's the lucky charm? And then you you still have, uh, like, your movement and stuff if you want to move. I'd say you got to spend, like, 5 feet to get out of the grave, but then you got uh, 25 more feet to move around. Okay. I am going to move over here to about right here. Is, is that too far? Is no. That 28 feet? That works. All right. Okay. All right. So Rakshasa, or Xandar, that's going to be you. All right, I'm going to move out here. I'm still, I shouldn't have taken... Wait, Wait is, is that, that a wall there? there? Uh, it is. It is a wall there. Okay. All right. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cantrip sacred flame. All right. On the that's the spine devil. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah okay. Uh, sacred flame on him, All right. which is. My fire didn't do anything to him. That's radiant damage. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, DC, it's a dex saving throw. So, uh, you see, as you pull out this, like, magical effect, it seems to have some sort of innate, like, resistance to it. Um, it, it succeeds. Okay. Then nothing happens, then as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on my drunk brother. Alright. And he gets healed for 7. Alright. So, Zeke, you got 7 health there. Yep. Alright, so that's going to be the Spine Devil. Um, it is going to... Fly over this way. So let's see how far that is. It... Boom. Boom. Actually, it might as well not even do that. So, tell him to come over here and see me. Um, Carithu and Carithu and Rakshasa, uh, you see as this thing turns towards you guys, uh, out of its tail come two uh, uh, spikes. So, uh, Rakshasa does a, a nineteen hit, and then Carithu. Yes. Uh, I think it misses with a nine. 
Yeah, do I get any cover from hiding in these tombstones or anything? Or... Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, it didn't even necessarily know you were there. Uh, so it actually doesn't even it doesn't even go for you. Um, it just goes for uh, for Rakshasa. Uh, misses hits on one, misses on the other. Um, damage. So it it deals uh, five piercing damage and two fire damage. Can can I use my stones? Uh, so remember, you do uh, resist the five piercing. Oh, that's right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He resists last time too. Mm, I don't know if I did or not. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got to remember you you uh, resist piercing and slashing and bludgeoning. It was just the poison that that they couldn't do anything, and then the fire uh, with this one. Yeah, I have plus two blades. Resistance to bludgeoning and piercing and slashing damage. So you took oh. four damage this turn. All right. All right. So and then it uh disappears into the into the darkness. But now I want to take my boat my re- my boat the uh kind of the reaction or whatever my opportunity attack on so it. So unfortunately, it has the trait flyby. Uh, the devil doesn't provoke <laughs> opportunity attacks when it flies out of the enemy's reach. Isn't that special? Can we um, persuade it? So Zeke, that's gonna be you. So I'm going to. Attack this. Uh, attack this one. Alright. By dashing through it. And with my Simtar, so I'm going to just fly as hard as I can right at it. All right. I'm still flying. Uh, with my Simtar. 12. A 12 misses. Alright, so as soon as I get on the other side, I'm going to, like, as I go under and I miss with my Dimtar, I'm going to reach out with my talons and try to hit it with both my talons. Alright. For my furry of fur... Fury furry, blows. not furry. <laughs> Your furry blows. Alright, so a 19 hits. Deals five. Um, you might get a bunch coming through just because it wouldn't. There we go. So, 13 all together. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, you see, it, it seems to be not doing that great. Right, spin my key for that. Alright. Um... Oh. I could disengage. Trying to think. If I go back over to Xandar, I wonder, would him throwing me the potion or that, would that count as an action form? Uh, hmm. Throw him throwing you the potion? I don't believe so. No. Okay. But you using the potion is an action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's fine. We're good for now. All right. So Dren, that's gonna be you. All right. I will attack with my quarterstaff. All right. Fuck. Unfortunately, a nine I misses. I do nothing, and I am. A... All right. <laughs> so that is going to be the imp. Uh, the imp is going to. Uh, you, you, uh, bring, you, like, try to swat him down with your quarterstaff, uh, and he decides to go for you. 
Um, so that's a 20 to hit. Uh, five, he deals five piercing damage, and then I need you to roll a con save. Is that me? Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dren. Oh, sorry. Okay, so constitution, saving throw. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So he does uh, five piercing damage. Uh, and then, as his, like, tail injects you with this venom, um, he deals 11 poison damage. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm down to four hit points. Okay. All right. Um, and then that is going to be the other one. Um... So, well, actually, Carithu's hidden. So it goes after Rakshasa. Uh, one comes out of the shadows. Uh, Rakshasa. Um... Ooh, it got a natural one. So it comes out of the shadows, and then... Like, you're able to very easily just, like, swat it away a bit and stop its tail from hitting you. Um, Carithu, that's going to be you. Uh, all right. I guess I'm going to shoot it with my crossbow. Uh, so I will, I will say that the one that's right next to you, you you'd have disadvantage on doing that. I guess I'll just try and stab it both times with the short sword and dagger then instead. All right. Do I have advantage on that from attacking unseen? Yes, you do. I'll do the uh, short sword first. All right, so that 18 hits. And you can also deal sneak attack. Six. All right. It did. All right. And then that dagger hits as well. So with with the unseen thing, you only roll the dagger once. Uh, but uh, well, that was three, four, line. seven. So minus three more. All right. So this thing is this thing is very significantly hurt almost immediately. All right. All right. So Rakshasa, that's gonna be you. Yeah. I'm fixing to put him on the tee and play some tee ball here. All right. Okay. And you, you're great using sword. your great sword, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said you're using your great sword, right? Yeah. So like, it's actually yeah. going to be more of yeah. like a slice in half, you know. Yep. Might yep. not get I'm much distance out of him. Let's see. I'm trying to think. If I want to use my warhammer now. No, I use a great sword, two handed. Here we go. So that thirteen hits uh, deals nine slashing damage plus your plus your nice. inner rage. Uh, so eleven, you uh, tear it to pieces. Just slice it down the middle. The wings uh, s like fly off. Um, now it's just a little rat on the ground. That looks like meat back on the menu tonight, boys. <laughs> All right, um, and then you have you do have your movement. Uh, you do see that they might be having some trouble in there, and the thing also flew back here. Uh, I like think the, I'll go over here. About, let's see. Uh, uh, hold on, let me look. How far I can go? You can go 30 feet. It, yeah, I'll just see. I'm gonna look right there. All right. All right. 
So Xandar, that's going to be you. And uh, uh, um, I am going to step up. Um, can I talk? You're still next to me, right? So you're just right there. Yeah, just right there. All right, I'm gonna toss Zeke one of the potions that I have. All right. Is that a free? Is that a free object? Like interaction? Like that's not yeah. a my action or anything. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to toss him one of the potions that I have. All right. And then um, I am going to... Ooh. Uh, let's try... So let's go with Toll the Dead this time. All righty. So unfortunately, again, it uh, resists magical effects. Killing me at this point. Um, no, it's killing us. us. Us, yes, us. <laughs> Damn, no, no, no. We had a healer. And then, um, Dren. Hang on. Dren. Uh, Dren. Can I see Dren from where I'm at? Yeah. Uh, is he within, is that, oh, he's right That's next him. to me. Okay, cool. Yeah, then I'm going to, I'll cast Healing Word on Dren. Actually, wait, no, I'm next to him. I can cast Cure Wounds. Can I? Uh, you, yes. you used your No, it's not a bonus action, yeah. no. Damn, that's all right. Um, then I'm going to cast Healing Word because it's a bonus action. All right. Uh, Dren, you get five hit points back. All right. Alrighty. Is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Alrighty. So, Karathu. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you see this thing basically circle around uh, and shoot uh, spikes at you and Rakshasa. Um. So like what while it's right here, um, it's gonna go ahead and roll for the spikes. So a twenty to hit, and then Rakshasa did a seventeen to hit. So Karathu, uh, it deals uh, four piercing damage and uh, five fire damage. And then Rakshasa, four piercing damage, uh, reduced to two, and then five fire damage. How much fire? You said four piercing, and how much fire? I was looking for it. Oh, it, it does uh, five fire damage, so you'd bring it down to two. About 50%. All right. I'm and then it goes uh, back into uh, the shadows. All right, Zeke, that's gonna be you. All right, I'm going to attack this with my scimitar. Actually, yep, I'm just gonna attack it with the scimitar. Or, uh, no. Sorry, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at my stuff I can do. Uh, crap. Alright, I'm just gonna drink that potion. Alright. Okay. What do I... Where do I find that? So, a potion of healing... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clip. Yeah, okay, I got it. Does that do a standard kill or? 2d4 plus 2. I can just roll it if you want because I got it pulled up. 
I, no, I got it. I, I just I just equipped it myself. I never put it in, so... Oh, I think I got the wrong one. I accidentally mean, right. Did I gain it? So, extra actually, uh... My medicine? Dren, yours was a greater potion of healing. Oh, okay. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't key. Yeah. So what was that, Zeke? I was gonna say, do I get any, like... Like, help towards it with having, like, plus three medicine? Uh, unfortunately not. Okay. And it doesn't help when you roll two ones. Oof. No, it does not. <laughs> Oof. I roll with advantage having, uh... Yeah, know, just medicine. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, there is, like, a, there is a certain cleric that whenever there's healing that happens, uh... You can roll it like it, it's ridiculous. You roll max healing. I took my four. All right. Really so, good. all right. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Uh, I'm looking at my. I have one key left. I'm just thinking. That's fine. I'll use it. I'll we'll just call it call it a day on that one. What? That's it for me. No, that's it. Okay. Turn. Turn. Oh. All right. Um. So Dren, that's gonna. Yeah, be... we're calling it a day. I think that's just a good stop point. <laughs> uh, I drew that perfectly. I hit thirteen. So I'm all the way back up. You better another overheal. And then that's my action, right? Yeah. Okay, so Alright, so that's going to be the uh, imp who's going to make an attack on Xandar. So Xandar, that is a... That's a 9 to hit. I think that's a miss, the first one. Uh, that's definitely a miss. So it, it tries to stab you as you're, like, throwing this healing potion, and you just manage to, like get your wings and like blow it away a little bit and it is very small so like it you know gets knocked off balance um yeah that's gonna be the end of its turn uh Carithu, that's you um i guess i'm gonna move the like no good place to stay <laughs> I guess I'll just move back down here then to try and hide them so that can't keep sniping me from the dark. Alright. So go ahead and uh, make a stealth. So, do you want to do anything with your action? No. <laughs> Dear God! Your stuff uh, sucks tonight. I don't know. My general stuff. So, I think I've really you could... The so, what you could do is... That be your bonus action stealth, your your cunning action, and then if you want, you could try to stealth with your, you could try to hide with your regular action to see if you can get it better. Oh hell yeah! Then in that case, sure. <laughs> It'd be another trick nail. Natural oh, one. <laughs> oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> he just yells, "You can't see me!" We go, "Yes, we can." And then he goes. Uh, hold on. Dude, you can't see me! You it's still can't again. see me! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like... <laughs> ah, I bet you can't <laughs> see me now! And then your friends are like... Yeah, we can see you. And you're just like... Shut up! Um, so yeah. Uh, Rakshasa, you you just see this this transpire. Uh, what, what do you do? I was going to say, I see him. <laughs> Can I do, is this something hindering me from throwing a javelin right here at this one? Um, I'd a, say is that a wall. That is indeed a wall. Uh, you could move up a square and do it. Uh, or you could move up a square and just like sword attack it, you know. I think... Or, like, if you really want to use a javelin, you could, like, go down a square 
to do it and get that that angle better i think i'll do that i'll go down a square oh that opens it up i can see him. i didn't even have to roll a whole five <laughs> and i am going to take my javelin and i'm that one and let's see what happens all right ah oh, oh geez. so much red so much red Karatasha. Um, so you, you throw this javelin, uh, just ma just barely missing, uh, Dren, like very close to his head and it like impales into the wall. Um, very hard to hit a tiny target with a javelin. Um, and then, so unfortunately I, uh, did you take, you, you took damage, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm down around fifty percent. Okay. Well, you, you took damage like this this round, right? I've taken two two times, uh, piercing and poison or something. Yeah this this last time I this, took this damage, last round, yeah. Because like, yeah, because if you don't deal damage uh, for a round or take damage, uh, that's your rage drops. Okay. Um, so am I? Rage. You should be. You should round. still be good because it more it attacked it attacked you. But if it went this turn without attacking you, then it would drop. Alrighty. All right. Uh, I think that's all I can do, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You have reckless attack. Oh. Interesting. I guess I need should have read up on that one. Uh. So you can go ahead and roll that javelin helmet. javelin attack again if you want. Sure, why not? But but again, you got you got to try to remember these because we don't want to get too far without you know. Now that, uh, so yeah, you impale it into the wall uh, next to next to Dren, and then the burst of air pushes the uh, the imp onto it. Um, Dealing ten piercing damage. Oh man, uh, that even with resistance kills it. Good. All right. Did I take Sandar's air off? Almost. Uh, you you almost take Dren's ear off. Like it is inches away from your head. Uh, uh I rolled a dexterity saving throw for damage. <laughs> so, uh, Xandar, that's going to be you. All right. Uh, um, I, as a bonus action, I am going to harness divine power. All right. So I can get one spell slot back. Alrighty. And then, um, see, I am going to see. He killed the one that was there. I'm going to step out. See, I've got what twenty five, five, ten. 15 feet, and kind of take a look around and see. And I see this dude in the red cloak down here. Do I know anything about him? He he's the guy that he's the the guard guy. He's been That's our friend. Yeah, he's been examining the grave this whole time. He's just been standing there examining the grave while we're getting attacked. I don't think anybody ever shouted out about you know we're under attack uh, or anything. Honestly, magic. You hear the magic going <laughs> off and the loud bolts and noise. Yeah. Did you investigate? <laughs> no. <laughs> I see. Oh God, it's, it's the Wait, card what, of Hogan's heroes. What? What? I see nothing. What? I what's going on? Nothing. What? I'm sorry. I was. There's I was a little bit imps, distracted. Imps and spine devils everywhere. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice anything. Are you sure? I don't see anything around here. We've killed three of them. Well, bravo. Um, do I know where, is there anything left? 
Uh, you at this point. I mean, I think the I fact that uh, Rakshasa and uh, Karathu are currently bleeding, you know, from these spikes that have been thrown at them, um, you know, the Spine Devil is still somewhere around here. All right, I'm going to. Karathu is. Is he up this way or is it? Is he down here? D- down this way. Anyone? Is anyone uh, <laughs> terribly hurt? I'm oh, I am. Cool. All right, <laughs> then I've got twenty twenty-five, and then I'll cast a healing word at um Rakshasa, or not Rakshasa, sorry, Karathu. Are we still on initiative right now, like attack battle, or what's indeed? Going on? I mean, there's still the Spine Devil on the field. Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure it was just his turn before I start yelling things to people. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna cast a healing word. Alright. Uh, a six healing Karathu. Alright, so with that, um, the Spine Devil is gonna go after Rakshasa hard. So it's gonna bite you uh, with a 17 to hit. Uh, deals uh, five slashing damage, uh, half down to two, and then it tries to stab you with its uh, the spiky tail uh, with an, with only an eight to hit, so it misses on that, and then uh, it flies. It continues flying. So twenty five. It continues. It basically starts uh, like flying away. Like towards the exit. <coughs> Alright. Zeke, that's going to be you. Alright, give me one second. Wind just got really bad, and I just want to listen to it real quick, make sure I don't need to uh, get everyone downstairs. One sec. Fair enough. Uh, okay. All right, we're good. Plus, my power keeps flickering, so we may be getting out of, might be out of power soon. Oh boy. Uh, all right. So, what did Xandar just do? Sorry, I was really focused on the weather. Uh, Xandar just healed Karathu, and then the Spine Devil went and attacked Rakshasa and is starting to fly away. Hey, demon giant, get in here, you dumb oafs! That thing's super powerful. Don't know if you know anything about them, but that's the Spine Devil. That would have been nice to know two rows ago, thank you very much. Well, you know, if you'd have just been a little stronger, maybe you would already be here. Well, so that's true. I'll I'm just going to use, I'm gonna use my, uh, my turn to just kind of, like, take respite inside this mausoleum, like, get kind of prepared in case it comes back. All right, so basically like a dodge action or something like that? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not. I don't want to use my bonus. I don't want to use a key or anything. If I need to, I'll just move into the corner. But I'm just gonna take cover in the mausoleum. All right, Dren, that's gonna be you. All right. Is my detect magic ran out? Uh, at this point, yes. All right, it's magic. So, do you want to cast it as an action, or do you want to take 10 minutes to cast it? As an action. Okay. So, it, it will cost a spell slot, then. Um, I mean, there's no, I don't see any other enemy. In the... it, there's there's still one outside. Uh, okay. Um, so, I, I don't want to attack it, right, because... I know he's immune to half. Can I try to go stealth? Like basically a hide action? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. 
I cast stealth. Go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. Uh, I mean, it's not that great, but it's not as bad as, you know, Here's what there. has been here, you know. <laughs> I am the ultimate ninja. <laughs> I'm a better ninja. I'm better sneaky than our sneaky guy. All right. And that's really all I can do right now. He's too far away and fuck me up. So. Different right. for me. Carithu, that's going to be you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my, uh, uh, what is this? You hear us all yelling at you to run in here. I'm going to use, why would I run in there? I've got like a clear shot at this thing. I got a steady aim. I'm going to use that to give myself advantage on my next attack. All right. Uh, basically, I can't move. And I'm going to shoot the uh, prone spine devil, was it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, luckily, you have oh advantage. My God. My god. Three natural Three. ones in a row. Does it hit? Uh you, you get to roll for it yeah, advantage. Uh that that'll hit. And it's also poison. Uh so unfortunately it is immune to poison. And that was poison, so nine piercing. Nine piercing plus the eight sneak attack. Seventeen. Do I even get the sneak attack though? Because I don't know. You, yeah, you, yeah, got, you, you were advantage. rolled with advantage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay. Hey, if the, if if I always find that the the dungeon master lets you do it, just just do it. Just just say yes um, and go on. You say so, like, like hey, so this, I know the rules there. Just do it. So this thing, like, you you peg this thing pretty pretty hard. Uh, like, you're not doing full damage, but it it took a good chunk out of it. Um, but it's still, it's still going. Um, Rakshasa, that's going to be you. All right. I'm not going and hiding in some little mausoleum. I'm going to move, and then I'm going to take the great sword. And I basically got one good try, because I know what he can do. Indeed. Holy lord. Plus two on damage. That may have paid off. Jesus. Uh, yeah. It... I mean, I think your straight damage alone uh, does it in. Um, you uh, just basically smash this thing down. Uh, the splinter... The spines, sp like, explode in a... Uh, like into a ring of you know going into the ground everywhere, uh, but you finish it off. Can I keep those and sell them to Zeke? Are they useful? The spines aren't they poison? They're they're not poisonous, um, but they are you know relatively sharp. They're made out of, they're made out of this like almost bone like stuff. Um, I'd say yeah, you you can get like like six of them. Okay, make a necklace out of it and sell it to my little fly buddy. All right, so that uh, ends the initiative. Um, so the the guy like comes back to you guys. Well, I thought I thought I said if we could, we need to leave some alive. <laughs> Why did he tell us that earlier? <laughs> well, I didn't I know what was going God, on. If you say if you say something dumb like that again, I will kill you and blame it on the spine devil. Oh God, sir, do you know that I'm I am an officer of the law? I could kill you right now, and no one would question a thing. I put I come up to Zeke, calm. It's not worth it. We don't need trouble here. Well, um, look at everyone else. Zeke. Oh, Trent's over there all Zeke. bloody. Carithu's all being dumb. 
But um, I was I was looking at these graves. How about a thank you, Zeke? Calm. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna walk up next to him. What did you find at the graves? So, it seems uh, some I've found I found some pieces of fabric that were cut off. Um, seems they tried to take the bodies that that were within. Um, there's a set of footprints that go uh, through the woods in this direction. Uh, we might be able to follow. Hmm. Um, was there anything of note in the mausoleum? Uh, no, it was, you know... Okay. Just a starting point, essentially. Yeah. yeah we could grave rob it. Okay. I'm not grave yeah. um, uh... it, it appears they go back to town. Um, is it possible for me to fly up and keep, like, try to follow the footprints from the sky? Um, yes and no. I'd say, like, as, like, if your group is following the foot footprints down below, you could probably, like, keep with them from the sky, see where it's g heading in that direction. But as far as, like, okay. literally seeing the boot prints from the ground in the sky, I, I doubt right. it. Yeah, especially I, it's nighttime. All right. So, do you guys uh, go ahead and uh, investigate? Yes. All right. I have really high investigate. All right. If I could get somebody to roll an investigation. Actually, my passive is twenty, but okay. So your your passive is twenty. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, so you're looking at this piece of cloth. Um, it seems to be made out of a very very fine. Uh, like ornate cloth um and then you're looking at these uh boot prints they they're how can i say like they're uh they're not your typical like work boots or anything like adventuring boots uh they are like like a for a ceremony like they'd be like dress shoes type of thing like a ritualistic shoe? Like yeah. For cults? For a funeral? <laughs> I think it was the tailor. <laughs> um, I was investigating him earlier. And, he... and then so if you want to go ahead and roll investigation to see if you can get anything else off of it. Hmm. Even better... <laughs> character you see that um <laughs> that's what you call it not a one <laughs> <laughs> so uh so dren uh you're thinking about it in your mind you you have that you know observant feet you take in things from your surroundings um you have you have the faintest memory of like people talking like you can read lips um, you have the faintest memory of people talking about ceremony, you know, that kind of thing, um, in town today. Um, that, that's, you know, all that you can really put to it. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, I mean, ev eventually, uh, the guy uh, th thanks you for your help um, and basically says he's going to head back to town see if they can, you know, make sense of this. Take Anybody want to follow the footsteps and I'll, and I'll take to the sky and kind of just scout ahead in the direction that you guys are heading? So, so there's more than one footprint? Maybe a it, It's like a couple sets uh, of tracks, you know. Uh, all going oh, okay. in like the same direction, like a group of people. Too dark for me to see, right? Zeke, you're still kind of pissed at this guy for not uh, helping hey, you guys you. out. <laughs> like you're, I'm just pissed by the thank you. Like you've been stabbed, poisoned, and like lit on fire. You know, like it's not fun. 
Um, a coin pouch. <laughs> say what? Does he have a coin pouch? He's going to go for a good roll. He's going <laughs> to oh pull his God. nap ones out. Uh, not that you can see on him, but you can you can try. I'm going to roll like a in check then to see if I can actually find a pinpoint to try and do a light of hand check on a guy when I don't even know what he's got. I'm Wait. just going to feel him up. Hold on. I can't. I, I'm going to. Hey, Harithu. Can you make a, the sound of that spine devil but make it come from around the corner? Can you just make any noise? It sounds like something's coming around the corner. I can put some on the corner. Let's see. Uh, what uh, do you want? can do ominous whispers or the cry of a raven. All right. Yeah. But, all right. What I want you to do is make that noise, and then I'm going to dive on him. Like I'm protecting him, and then you do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dive oh bombing. <laughs> this character is so cursed at this point. I've almost given up. Even if he gets horribly killed at one point, I'll just consider it a mercy. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna use some to do like uh, he recommended and use the. Uh... All righty. So you and then Zeke, you tackle him uh, to the ground. <laughs> A week all big and like dive on him, like trying to cover, protect him. Jesus and Christ! Oh, it's God! <laughs> what the? Oh, I got what the hell like, are you dive doing? On, like, I'm kind of like running like, over him, trying to protect him. Like, oh, God! What the? Get off of me! Uh, yeah. Carithu, if you want to go. He's technically like fighting with Zeke right now. I'm begging for something. You can uh, roll it at advantage. All right. Uh, so you managed. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a coin yeah. purse, uh, but you managed to like slip uh, his like uh, billfold off of him. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You have his like ba- his I like his uh, badge. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, sh- oh, are we okay? Get that- off of me! Oh God! Oh, you're still. I mean, you weren't there to fight it, you're so still you wouldn't have known how me. scary you're... that was. But fight you know, what? I- we got There's you. nothing here. Was there anything here there. at all? Oh, I forgot. You know, you're fine. Your face was down in the ground. You're okay. What are we're- you doing? Well, about? I guess we're gonna. Have- oh, God, you're lucky. He saved you. Look what I found. I hold up the severed head. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? Why does it smell like that? It talks. Well, listen to the severed head. He'll tell you he's you're safe now. I don't want to listen to him. You know what? You guys are. This may I, have I been a bad call. I'm, I'm can going you do the back to town. Voices on the skull. I'm going back to town, uh, and he he starts walking off. I'm an ungrateful man. You saved his life. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, so do you guys, you guys head back, like, following the, uh, the footsteps and stuff? I'm gonna show him first, uh, this is what I got, show him the, is there any money in the bill or is it just the, uh, bag? It, it's just his, his identification stuff. Is it? Is there any, like, pictures or anything on it, or is it just, like, a plain badge? No, just, like, just, like, a plain badge. The, the technology for pictures does not exist. Hey, we got magic. I don't know, but anyways, Carithu, what can we do? What, what can we do with that? Can we? Can we go? Can we go put his badge in a place he should never be at and frame him? <laughs> I think we'll follow the tracks first, and we'll decide what to do later. Oh yeah, we can. We can act like we're um, talking while we're. I I will the say it's a, it's approaching uh like, like even later uh in the night, um. So that the uh, the church service is about to uh, start again. Yeah. And so I'm gonna start heading 
uh, I'll fly up in the air, keeping an eye out and kind of heading back towards town for the church service. All right. Zeke, I bet some trolls or criminal sorts would love to buy that off of you, that badge of the sheriff. Oh, uh, I could sell it there. Ooh. I have some plans, but I believe he is right there. But, you know, I really don't like that guy. So I feel like we could do a, do a lot worse. I mean, better, of course. We're good, right? We're goodies. Ah. Mm. So so does anybody else uh, go to the, the church service? I uh, do not go. I'm going back to <sighs> hey. I'll call, actually, before I take off, I'll look. Zeke, do you want to come with me? It's been a while since we've been in a service. To and speak to him. Do you think the church could know anything about this stuff? Maybe. After, we should. Uh... We should. We shouldn't bring it directly to them. But I am curious. I, I. I worry about this church. I. After hearing that it's ritualistic, I too am concerned. I. I want Zeke. I'd come with me and let's. Uh, Sit through the service and see what uh, what comes of it. All right. But I don't. But I don't know if we need to bring others in with us. All right. Because All right, we, guys, we'll go. If if shit hits the fan, Zeke, we can just take to the sky and have a quick escape. All right. All right, guys. I guess we'll go to the church. You guys investigate. Go to the tavern. We'll meet you there. Right. Follow the foot. Follow the footsteps and see if there's anything that comes of it. Alrighty. Uh, so you guys, you know, split up a little bit. Uh, it does take a little while to get back to town. Um, so first, uh, we'll go with uh, the Aracoca brothers. Uh, you guys, you know, pop into the service a slight bit, you know, on the tardy side. Not all the way through it. Um, it seems to be like this big, you know, gathering uh, with like food and drink and whatnot. Um, there's, you know, music going on. Uh, everybody's kind of, you know, having a good time. Um, eventually, there's a little bit of like a like a message or whatnot. Um, you know, goes on for a very very long uh, amount of time. Um, and eventually, um, you guys, uh, basically, like, it breaks back into, uh, like, games and whatnot after the, after the message. Um, mm -hmm. what's, what's you guys' passive perception? Uh, passive perception is 13. And Z? 13. Um, I'd say you guys, uh, having just dealt with, with something like this, um, you guys do notice that, uh, like the, uh, the dress robes that they have, um, mm -hmm. they're like white on the outside with gold trim. Um, but one of the, one of the members like is, you know, as he's getting stuff ready, um, you notice on the other side, uh, it's this very dark fabric with like red, uh, trimmings and whatnot. Um, and one of its pieces seems to be missing. I use twin side with Xandar. Xandar, do you see this? I do. Let's not be hasty or bring attention to it. Should I kill him? The... Zeke, what did I just say? All right, what if I just tackle him? Um, Zeke. <laughs> he, he, he walks off, um, and then the, uh, the, the main, the leader of the, of the church uh, comes to you guys. Ah, brothers, it is great to see you. Have you, have you tried some of our cuisine? Uh, in Twin Peak, I'm still kind of, we're kind of just like back and forth with each other. Zeke, sneak away and follow him. But don't interact at all. Got it? Yes. Excuse me, Father. We I need to use the rest. 
bathroom. Where is it at? Uh, it is down is the it, hall over and I there. Just, and you go the, the other direction. You go, like, the other direction. <laughs> uh, um, sorry, Father. Uh, please excuse my brother. He's not that bright. He, uh... Tell him I'm not that bright. He, uh... He definitely didn't get the, uh, wisdom if you would get my drift. Ah. Uh, as, as was said before, uh, there are men of the cloth and then men of, uh, protecting the men of the cloth. Not always are they that smart. <laughs> Very true, but it, uh, it works well for both of us, uh being brothers like we are it's it's a very interesting dynamic that the two of us have together indeed uh nothing har hardly anything can surpass the bond of two brothers um very true but yes have, have you uh, tried our guy. have you tried our local cuisine um we uh tend to just be foragers and come from uh everything naturally that we find out in the woods what uh what do you have here and what do you recommend ah well we have very many uh fine dishes uh very many fine ales as well you know celebratory um none in excess you know um absolutely uh, he you know starts preparing a plate for you um zeke um you uh try to follow this guy go ahead and roll a Okay, you, you just rolled a stealth for me. Um, yeah, you managed to uh, to follow this guy. Yeah, he's I really managed well to follow this guy. <laughs> uh, he's going like like deep into uh, like he's going all the way around the church. Like he goes outside past a bunch of the the partying people, um, and uh, as as he as you round a corner. Uh, you see him disappear into the wall. So, I, I, so can I, like, I'm going to make a mental note of that wall then. And, uh, kind of just peek my head through it. Like, try to, like, just see quickly what's inside. Uh, so you, you walk up to this wall, and it seems to be just a plain stone wall. So I make note of it. Uh, is there? I'm gonna. Uh, uh, what kind of floor is underneath me? Like, what, is it stone or what? You guys are. You guys. Are, you're. You're outside now. Like, you're basically on the outside of the building. Um, you notice a little uh, slit in it, in, in the wall, um, and like a pile of coins uh, nearby. Oh, I take the power of coins to keep going. All right. <laughs> so you pick up. Just uh, 40... I don't. I don't. I don't leave. I don't take the power of coins. I just notice them. All right. Uh, uh, from what from what you can eyeball, it looks gonna... it looks like forty five gold coins. Yeah. Um. Forty five gold coins, huh? Just Indeed. like what the armor, the leather armor cost. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make a mental note of this place. Grab the gold and quickly sc scurry away. All right. Um, just about the time you get back, uh, like this gigantic plate of food is has been made for your brother, and and here our finest ale. Uh, drink, be merry. Ah, you, uh, can I do? You're back from the can bathroom. Can I do and... a? Uh, can I do a perception or insight check to see if there's like anything that like strikes me as weird about this food that I shouldn't eat it? Yeah. Uh, would that be insight? Uh, insight or perception. <laughs> okay. Eighteen. Um. So not necessarily about the food itself, um, but just. He's try like the, he gave you a big thing of of ale. Um, mm -hmm. It it you're not you're th kind of thrown off guard. 
because like the, the whole thing is you you kind of know the script you you know the scriptures and stuff like right you're definitely not supposed to get drunk to the point of letting your light be clouded you know and it seems like the amount of ale that he gave me is like suspicious in regards to what he's telling me indeed as well as the ale that he's that other people have you know taken Mm. okay i'll uh wait (laughs) zeke you took off back to the tavern i'm gonna get everyone okay because that that was that was uh there's no all right hold on real quick twin speak does it go through walls no, I think Twin Speak is only like me and you talking. Yeah, you, you guys are basically well, yeah, it's, speaking it's, it's, it's tele- to each it's other. It's telepathic. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, we it's, we don't have to say it out loud. That's what I was saying. I can't remember Wait, if it goes through walls. Do you guys have telepathy? No, we have Twin Speak though. I think that's just like a language we have. Yeah, I was basically I was basically ruling it as hey, you guys are speaking Aracocra, but so few people oh. speak it. It's it's avian technically, so like, very few people speak it whatsoever. Uh, so, it's basically your own language. Oh, I thought it was. Uh... No, it's not like a. Oh, for whatever, yeah, for whatever like reason, that. I thought we had I thought we had that. My bad. I'm totally good. just misunderstanding this one. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna take. I took back off to the tavern to grab everyone. Do I know you left? You just know I went and followed him. Probably not. Well, no, I just know you went to follow him, and then you if you took the gold and took off, now I'm sitting here waiting for you going, mm, this is not good. I, I mean, I fly pretty fast. I'm not yeah, running. but it's how far, how, how far is it from there to the tavern? It's right in town. Yeah, it's, it's in town. Uh, I'd say you could get so there like, within I, a minute or so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I fly pretty fast. I fly faster than running. Way faster. Um, so. So like, Alright, so I'm gonna to get there, So what I'm gonna do fine. is just like cautiously nibble on a little little bits of the food and not really drink the ale because I it still just doesn't sit right with me and how much they're giving. But I'm still okay. gonna like I'm gonna have it in my hands and walk around and I'm kinda like on the lookout waiting for Zeke to come back. Alright. Um so. eventually uh the pastor uh disappears, um uh... You see he, like, changes out of his one attire and, like, uh, dresses into his uh, dress robes. Um, well, my congregation, it has, been, it has been quite an honor. Uh, whenever this uh, festivities end, let them end. Um, and let the light be unto your path. Uh, and he, you know, disappears into... Uh, the back rooms of the, of the church. Um, can I kind of set my... I'll set my plate off to the side. Everyone's up. And I want to sneak into the back room just to kind of see if um, there's anything weird going on with him. Like uh, slide through the curtain. So you go into like the, uh, like the head office. Um, nobody there. Can I uh, do a uh, perception check in the office and see if there's anything that like, stands out to me unusual? Uh, yeah. Sixteen. Um, to your knowledge, there doesn't look to be anything. Okay, I'll uh, I'll walk back outside. It isn't like the congregation's kind of splitting up and leaving. Yeah. Um, and I'd go ahead and All say, right. uh, if everybody wants to go ahead and get a short rest, you basic, you guys basically took an hour to eat and clean your wounds and all that stuff. Yeah. Cool.
Okay. All right. And then uh, I'll just walk back outside and kind of start, like, looking around for Z. So, so yeah, you, uh, Zeke, I think you and everybody else basically show back up uh, within a couple minutes. Um, the party's kind of died down a little bit. Uh, it's starting to get, like, late into the night. Like, uh, well. approaching... 10 to 11 o'clock, something like that. Yeah. Well, guys... Zeke, he, uh... The pastor ended the... The uh, gathering. He went into his office. I followed him in there. He disappeared, and I couldn't see anywhere for him to go. Strange. And we're outside, right? Yeah. I what about... Where Steve, did uh, where did your guy go? Yeah, so and everyone's here with us, right? Like everyone. Yeah. The party. All right, Jiren and everyone. Okay. All right, guys. See, see that wall right there, and I point to where I saw the guy disappear. So you basically walk around the building to to show them this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I saw a guy walk through that wall. What do you Jiren, mean? Do you, like. I followed him, and he walked through the wall like as if the wall was not there. Like it feels like an illusion. So I went up and I tried to get. I tried to push on it, but I couldn't get in. Josh, did you say there was like a slit in the wall or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Um. So we. So, see so Zeke, there. basically, what you saw was the tail end of this guy going through it. You didn't necessarily see what happened when he got up to it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Dren, do you detect anything? Um, I'll cast Detect Magic. Do I detect anything? Um, so you cast Detect Magic. Uh, you look at this wall, and it has a secret message written into it. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and so send that to you. To... Go ahead and do what? I'll go ahead and send that to you. Let's see. Okay. And I repeat it to the the guy so that actually this is a secret message. You see every other letter go up five and seven so it says 15 per column per row diagonally the same so plea of warning to care count no two places may hold the same amount coins in the center fed the door Zack change passage for uh and hmm. it's at this point you notice a little like nine by nine or three by three uh square uh, like, uh, like made into the dirt, uh, like just a little, t like almost like a kid's drawing type of thing. Um, okay. and, uh, Zeke, your mind goes back to those coins that you picked up. I forget about it. I don't say anything. Three by three. So. You said, you said it was a three by three on the ground? Yeah. So um, coins in the center. Can you can can you share that with us so I can see it? Yeah, I'm. About to, I got a PowerPoint up. Um, I can uh, show my thing if you guys. Want. Well, um, we can we can put I... it in the uh, the the text chat for the uh... Discord or for the for the World Twenty. Oh, you, you, you talking about the um? You talking about the message or the three by three? No, the uh, the message. That's what oh, I was okay. looking yeah, for. Yeah, hold on. Let me, I'm gonna read it out right. He's already. Okay, okay cool. Fifteen per column. Fifteen per. Oh. Uh, hmm. So uh, yes. 
guess a fun puzzle it is. Yeah. The duck. Alright. So I'm gonna present right quick. Alright, how do I do that? Alright, here we go. You guys see that? There we are. So this should be a... I'm actually gonna make it an Excel. Ooh, crap. Oh boy. I sent that one a little too far. There it is, okay. Getting fancy. All right. Hold on, that six go there. There you go. Huh? That's it. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a time to play. Yeah. Fifteen. It has to be fifteen per column, fifteen per row. But yeah, hold on. diagonals are supposed to be as well. Oh, uh, okay. We got the one, two, three. Don't then everything 15. else matches. Them. Then what you could do? Hold on. I know what you do. Hold on. No. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Gotcha. Um, if you guys want, you can also, you know, uh, try to roll for some hints or anything if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so I need an investigation check or an insight check. 20. Alright. So, um, Xandar, you realize, uh, you... You figure out like the placement of two of the numbers. Okay. So seven. Oh, that's good. And two. So you figure out that these are the locations for seven and two. Seven and two are locked. Cool. Go in that corner to make fifteen. Yes, yeah, six has to go into the top corner. For that to be 15. Alright, wait, what are you guys? Oh, you guys already have a damn thing on here. I'm right here, present. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even see all that. I didn't got formula programmed in there and everything. Alright. Alright, so that. I guess I can use there. it there. Alright, so all the ones that are locked in seven, place, I just. Seven and awesome. two. Well, we know six. Six is... has to be that top one. All uh -huh. right, so nine has to go in the bottom row. So it is four. Don't pause them, though. All right, so what, what, what two numbers do we have that are fixed? I think that's it. Well, I mean, which two? I see a six. Two six, and seven, seven. And two are fixed. Yeah, well, they're not two. Fixed. I so I figured two and well, seven were fixed. I don't see eight two. So it's the bottom left number of that Sudoku. Fifteen. I seven, 15, I see a uh, a 15. six eight seven nine four. I don't I don't see over there. All right, I'm gonna screenshot it and put it in the Discord for 15. you, bud. I mean, I see that the numbers rotate up like a yeah, nine yeah, and a four. I, yeah, I get that. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in Discord so you can see it. There. Yeah, I don't see all those. Um, this is it. This is the... absolutely have to be right. They're all 15. Yeah, just yeah everything's 15. Diagonal and everything, so we need to feed five through the slot. Z, was there anything laying around here when you walked up to it the first time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
What was here? A bag of gold. How much? 45. Do you have it on you? Mm hmm. We need the gold, Zeke. How much? Zeke, we need the gold. No, but how much? Uh, we need 30 of it. Now, listen to me, Zeke. No, no, we I know that. Want... I know that, but how much? That's what I'm saying. Oh, what five. Is... Five. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, okay. 15 per column, 15 per road. Diagonally the same. So, a plea of warning to carefully count. No two places go in the same amount. What coin in the center be fed through the door? Exact change for passage or trouble galore. What coin in the center? The coin in the center is five. So, but so I think it's. I will tell you now, there was 45 when the guy walked through it. Right, so he took five and fed it through. So there was 50 before. Oh, it takes just five from the five bag. Five from the, the bag, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, take five. Um, I'll do it first. Okay. I'll take five. I'll take five gold, Zeke. If I'm if this it doesn't work, uh, we'll figure something else out. But I want to do the I want to be the first one to do it. Okay. So, so I'll take I'll take five gold from the bag and feed it through the split. All, All right. right. So, so I already you, put it in my thing. So I give you you uh, I feed put the five the, gold. You put the five gold through. Um. Yep. Do you what What do you do? Uh, I he said he walked through the wall, so I'm gonna walk through the try to walk through the wall. So as you uh, come into contact, when you would think that you you know press against it, uh, you just basically kind of phase through, kind of like like it's through jello or whatnot, just like pop through, uh, and you end you end up being in this like dark corridor. All right, now all right, Dren, your turn. Go ahead five through the slip all right all right do the same uh plop right on through and then i do the same for everyone else including myself which is 15 more gold five for each there right. we go all right so you guys uh move into this kind of darkish corridor um let me move your actual tokens onto the map hey would this be a decent place to call it a night yeah All right. After I want to see at least what the entry is, but. Alrighty, well that was fun. Oh, for sure. <laughs>